Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on the Barn channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to modify these grids that um, we have on ArcGIS Pro. So when we were trying to um, show you how to prepare the study RAM map, we told you that when you add a grid like this, there is a way you can modify it, you know, to have um, your coordinates in um, 3 days map places, you know, show the units or maybe change the um, coordinates from the geographic to maybe projected or as a case may be right good. So there might be um, a default graphical. Let's say we, when we click on this one, let's say we are trying to work on this particular map frame. And then when you now select um, grids, right? And then when you select grids, you know, you can select from any of these available options under measured grid for you to have um, the coordinates displayed in um, a projected coordinate reference system. However, if you still choose to go with um, these um, graphics that contains the coordinates in um, a geographic system, you can still modify it. Good. You can still modify these coordinates so that um, the values can be maybe to a projected coordinates that um, also display the unit. Right. Good. So first of all, you can see that um, we have our we have our grids displayed in what in degree minute and seconds right good so let's come up to the component and then from the components let's click on labels right good now this is where our interest lies on today's tutorial this particular um format the expression here we try to extract out the key components of this expression now this dyn simply means what a dynamic text element for generating automatically updated information in a map or layout. So it means that, you know, the coordinates are not fixed, right? The coordinates of this point is not the same thing as the coordinate of the next point. So this DYN helps you to display what? Dynamic text, right? Good. So it stands for dynamic. When you see the type to be grid, it specifies that the data being displayed is what? In a grid format, right? Good. So then the other one is the unit, DMS. It simply means that um, it indicates the coordinates should be displayed in degree, minutes, and seconds. So these are the um, explanation of these formats that we have here by default. So if you come back here again, you are going to see this particular format, right? Good. So we have the dynamic, we have the type, we have the units, we have the decimal places to be zero, we have the show direction, we have the show zero minutes and then we have the show zero seconds right good so what this simply means is that if you modify any of the elements here it is going to be affected on this our grid value so before we remove everything here generally to have our projected crs let us take um let us take out these show directions let us make it false so we edit true to what to false so the direction actually indicates if it is what east or east or not, right? Good. So if we decide to make it false or maybe take it out, we will only see the coordinate values without having what direction. So now let's apply. Good. You see now that since we have indicated that the direction should be false, we only have what our grid value. So these are how you can what modify it. But before we leave, let us now fulfill the essence of today's tutorial. We now have what um, a modified format here that has what the dynamic text still, the type is still grid. However, our unit is now what in meters, and then we have it to zero decimal place, and we also want to show what the unit. So if you look at it very closely, this our expression looks a bit summarized. However, it helps you to display the coordinates instead of it to be in DMS to be what in um in meters right good so we are going to highlight and then copy so when we come back to ArcGIS Pro we can decide to take this out and then paste our expression so now let's apply you now see very well that the coordinate values have changed from lat and long to what to eastern and northern right good so let's zoom in a bit to what good so you now see the eastern and the northern right good so on um, ArcGIS pro the the format for displaying is actually eastern meters you know we actually wanted it to be meter eastern 
but we were unable to come up with um, the expression to move the the meters before the easting however this helps you to display your coordinates in a projected system they call it measured system so if you click on help with dynamic text it will take you to this window right good so it is very important that um, you click on that um, help with uh, dynamic text that um, takes you to this um, RGS Pro documentation that helps you understand the format for labeling with tags and then you know how to tag your graticals and you know the different tags and their descriptions and the example of the syntaxes and all of that so this is where we borrow the little leaf to help us um, write the expression that is here which we have now used to modify the syntax that um, we have um, used on ArcGIS Pro to change the coordinates from the Grimlin and seconds which is actually a um, geographic system towards um, meters which is now projected right good so you can modify it the idea behind it is that it can be modified so if you have any idea and then you can be able to conceptualize it and then implement it at the same time you can modify the expression here or maybe the syntax here to suit the tags that you want to display on your map layout so thanks for coming to class we hope we have provided solution to this particular gis problem we are going to see you on the next tutorial. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a fantastic time. Bye.